Welcome back to Techno Sergeant YouTube channel. So Unity has issued an apology for the scenario which they had created on their own for basically their new policy, which it's going to be getting into effect from 1st Jan 2024. And it charges the developers to create a game. And when the game is installed after a specific threshold, the developers needs to pay, which is a bad move. And they provide an apology in a weird way. They said, we have heard you and we apologize for the confusion and angst that has caused because of the new policy that was introduced on Tuesday. And what do you mean by confusion? Like there's no confusion because everybody knows about it. And now every developer is angry at it because it will just be bad for indie developers and st stuff. And also on top of that, they will provide an update in a couple of days, but the damage is already done. Most of the developers are porting their games from Unity to Unreal at this point. Among Us is going to Unreal. Genshin Impact will go to Unreal. The damage is already done and the person responsible for it, the CEO of the company is John Reese Taylor. And he's also was the company, was the CEO of EA when it was the worst company. And this is the same person who wanted to charge people for reloading a basically a virtual game if you want to reload a game a mag in a battlefield game you need to pay which is a weird thing to see but yeah it is what it is next up we have news regarding rtx 5090 and it comes from GPL form forum where a moderator posted some things regarding core counts and stuff and basically it says the entire specification we already know the next generation gpu is called gb2200 series and we saw what it looks like, but now it says that the scale is increased by 50%. So it is 23,000, 24,000 cores and it is higher from 16,000 and it is in comparison to 4090. So this just turns out to be RTX 50 series, 5090 possibly. The memory configuration is also increased by 52%. So it is GDDR7, which is 78% increase, 15% in frequency. So over 3 gigahertz and it gives us a combined performance uplift of 1.7 percent which is higher and this will come not from a software like dlss or something like that but it will literally come from pure rasterization performance which is insane to see like 1.7 percent increase over a generation it's pretty insane and yeah i know it's when compared to 4090 so it's a high end segment but if we think about it like 1.3 or 1.5 for mid range is also nice compared to previous generation Let's just see what will be the power draw and the heat for this GPUs. But yeah, but due to the next story, I think it will be pretty easy because from Copy 7K, we got two tweets. Once it states that the GB102, GB200 series, like basically Blackwell, next generation GPU is going to go MCM. Yeah, you heard it right. NVIDIA is going MCM. Uh, MCM is a basically an GPU architecture where it's like in a monolithic GPUs there's like a complete die and if during fabrication something goes wrong the entire die is discarded but if it's an MCM there are different core modules different chip models which communicate through an interconnect and Ryzen uses it for the CPU and AMD also uses it for graphics card uh, RX 7900 XT was based on it and now NVIDIA is falling soon with their own MCM architecture for Blackwell, which is a nice thing to see. Maybe because of that, the pricing might go down a little bit. We still don't know about the pricing and stuff. It's just a, not a rumor, but just a speculation from my point. Because of MCM, the pricing might go down. And from the second tweet, he said that basically we had two different architecture, Ada Loveless and MP Ada had two different architecture. One was only for gaming and the other was like professional workloads but with rtx 50 series there will be a single architecture for both so basically blackwell will be there for entire series like the consumers gpus which is for professional content creations and stuff those professional gpus also the gaming gpus will be based on the same architecture which is a huge difference compared to compared to the previous implementation of nvidia gpus but it is insane to see what in nvidia is doing in the background but yeah that's it from me today what do you think about all of the news going on what do you think about unity and stuff sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out